All right, so I recently saw that the search term $100 e-bike conversion kit is a thing and apparently it's fairly popular. So I thought I'd go ahead and put something out there for that search inquiry because I understand it. A uh, cheap e-bike is very attractive and e-bikes in general, that's one of the great things about them. They are not an expensive mode of transportation. It's a great budget-friendly way to get around. I personally really like the high-powered, more fancy, fun e-bikes out there. But my first bike was budget. I was testing the waters. I, I built it myself with a simple e-bike conversion kit. It cost more than $100, but it enabled me to sell my car, save $150 per month on insurance, car payment, gas, maintenance, and it proved to be a fairly effective financial move. All right, let's get right into this. So an e-bike kit... We're talking about three components, a motor, a controller, and a battery. That's all it takes to convert an existing bike to electric. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume that for this search inquiry, you already have an older bike sitting in your garage, because if you don't, if you have nothing, then uh, it's gonna cost a lot more than $100. So we're talking those three components, a battery, controller, and a motor. Now luckily, most of the time, the controller and the motor are a pair. You have to buy them together because the compatibility can be an issue here. Not every controller is compatible with every motor. So almost always you're going to see the motor, whether it's a mid-drive, a hub motor, come with the accompanying controller. Although sometimes you will see just a bare hub motor and this might be tempting because the price tag is often very affordable. But uh, stay away from this because it's just a hub motor, not a wheel, not a controller, nothing else you need. And if you're trying to build a bike for $100, super budget, you're probably not an expert in the field. And just getting a raw hub motor, it's going to be very difficult to then build out a wheel around it, find the, the right controller, and it's just going to make your life way more difficult. So even though the price tag here is very tempting, uh, stay away from just a bare hub motor. The cheapest kit I've seen that comes with a fully built wheel and the company controller is around $200. I think a good source to find these are AliExpress and Amazon. Now a couple things to note here, when it comes to hub motors, uh, the compatibility with your specific bike is going to be a point of contention. You have to make sure that's compatible with the size or the width of your dropouts. And then the diameter of the wheel and the thickness of the rim also has to be compatible. So it's two separate things you have to check to make sure that it's going to fit and be compatible with your bike. You also might be asking why not a mid-drive? So this is a motor that's right by the pedals and it, it seems like it should be cheaper because you don't have to also buy a new wheel. Unfortunately, there's a lot less mid-drives to choose from and every one I've seen, even the, the small, very weak ones, are still just as if not often more expensive than the hub motor kits. So because of that, when it comes to budget, we're talking about hub motor conversion kits. I did dabble in a third category that's beginning to kind of become more popular, and that's things like this. They have the potential to be a little cheaper because of their approach. Like this one here is a friction-based, so it literally just spins the wheel from the outside. These are never gonna have the same level of integration performance as a hub motor, and unfortunately, they're not any cheaper. I found them to be pretty expensive still, so this is also not going to be a viable option for the extreme budget. But okay, let's say this hub motor kit is compatible with your bike. It costs around $200. You get the, the hub motor, which is a, a quality option. It comes with a controller. We've already breached the $100 price tag, and we're still missing the most important component, which is the battery. And this is not an area that you want to cheap out on, unfortunately. Cheap batteries have the potential to spontaneously catch fire, and we're talking about a very aggressive chemical fire. So for that reason, you want to avoid cheaping out and buying a no-name Chinese battery because of this potential issue. I saw that eBikeLing, which is a fairly reputable company. I've never used their products personally before myself, but I've seen them out there. They appear to be one of the bigger players. They do sell their own branded batteries. And if you want cheap, we're talking 48 volts, like 10 amp hours. 
and the price tag here is still about $400. So $400 plus the $200 quality hub motor controller combo. We're talking really a minimum of a $600 price tag to convert a very basic bike. And I say basic in regards to the, the power, performance, range. Uh, clearly, this is not going to be a speed demon or have massive range with these kinds of specs. But with that said, if you go down this path, it's still going to be a legit bike and it's, it should be reliable transportation for years. Hub motors are essentially bulletproof. Batteries, if you take care of them, they last a fairly long time. But if you insist on finding something even cheaper than this, I think the only feasible way to do this is via the, the used market. So if I were you, open up an eBay tab, Facebook Marketplace, Let Go, one of my personal favorites, and constantly scour your local area for people that might just so happen to be selling a bike that they no longer need, or maybe they're upgrading their bike and they're essentially letting go of their old motor. That's the only way that I can see you getting much cheaper than $600. But remember, when it comes to the batteries, especially if you're buying a used battery, uh, the quality is, is key, just for safety. As well as other things like the lifespan, you know, the degradation over time. You want to check, uh, so something you can do to check is a UL certification. UL certified batteries have to pass safety standards, as well as the, the, the name brand of the battery. You want to check for like LG, Samsung battery cells, something recognizable, not no name, you know, grade A battery cells. So I'll go ahead and do a bit more research and leave links to some good kits I find in the description below this video. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate a like before you go, subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.